Hello and how are you guys going today? This is going to be a quick 5 minute tutorial part of the series on Ace Designs 107 where we try to stay away from the 40 minute tutorials and we narrow it down to some key concepts in Photoshop which can be used in every day, every day, or not every day, sorry, excuse me, every time where you go on Photoshop. So this one is, this tutorial, this particular tutorial will be on how to create a text to a shadow itself in Photoshop. So it has this kind of 3D in depth look to it. So we're going to create this in five minutes. Very simple. And I'm going to teach you some shortcuts along the way. So let's get straight into it. So you're going to go to File New or Command N or Control N, depending on what kind of operating system you are on. I'm going to name this Shadow. I'm going to do 1280 by 720, resolution 72. I don't know why it's in there. Now I'm going to do background contents transparent. This allows me to edit the background if I want to at any stage of time. So I'm going to press command backspace. It's going to fill it in with white. If you press command I, it'll fill in with back. Command delete, fill in with white. So command I, black, command delete, back white. And it's just control for Mac Windows. Now I'm going to make this an actual background. So I'm going to press a lock key. This means I can't move it at any sort of way because it's locked. And I'm just going to name this by double clicking layer background. Okay, sweet. Now I'm going to grab our text tool by clicking here at this little icon or just press T simply. Now first I'm just going to get my character window by going to window character since we will be working with text this tutorial. I'm just going to click it up here so I customize my workspace a little bit. And paragraph is just going to sit down like that. Now, I'm all pimped out, ready to go. So I'm going to go to Arial, and I'm going to make sure I have a red. Now this red's kind of nice, so I'm going to change it like this. Makes it a little bit softer. Now I'm going to press here, I'm going to go Shadow. I'm going to, because it's a shadow effect. And now I'm going to press Control T, and I'm just going to resize this by holding Shift. This makes sure it keeps the layer in ratio while you hold shift now if you press enter the little check mark up there you'll finish the transformation press command a or control a and this will select the document now select your move tool by pressing v or just clicking up here now you're going to press the second and fifth icon this is going to put it in the middle arrange it in vertical slant centers and it's going to align in horizontal centers so it's pretty straightforward Press Ctrl D to deselect this selection. Now, we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to press Ctrl J or right click and do duplicate. Now I'm going to make sure that this layer is behind the first layer that we made. So it says shadow copy. So I'm going to click and drag this until a little line pops up where I know where to drop it. Now if I let go, it moved that thing. So yeah. So now if I get our text tool back, and if I select this, see, if I select it, it's going to be selected on this layer. I don't want that. I want it to select on the other layer, my copy that I made. So make sure. Just move your first copy like that, and that means that when you want to select this, it will make it easier, right? Okay, so you select this copy, and you just make it a darker color like that. It's perfect. Okay. Now I'm just going to recenter this text by doing the same command A. Command A. Bam. Bam. Press Control D. Now I'm just going to select the copy that we made. Press Control T, and I'm just going to move this down with my arrow keys till we've got it like that. Now I'm going to control J this copy, I'm just going to move it down, and I'm going to click on the eyes here, and this will hide those layers, so when I select this and change the color, I won't select the other layers. Make it like that, that done, now I'm going to turn these back on, I've disrupted them in any way, and I can use my arrow keys to move this back in place like that. Perfect. So guys, thank you for tuning into this tutorial. I hope it's five minutes. 
make sure to check out the channel for other five minute tutorials. I know these are very popular. I'm getting 100 views plus on these tutorials. That's why I decided to do more. So, yeah, um, the next five minute tutorial that we'll be doing is um, how to put a text or a paragraph inside a letter. So, you have a letter right, and the, and the paragraph will be laid over onto the text. So, it will make out a letter. So, it's hard to explain, but make sure you check it out. So, yeah. So, basically, we're going to be using a text letter as a container for more text. It's a very, very popular effect, and make sure to tune in for it later. See you guys. Bye-bye. Drop like an earthquake. It's time to devastate. 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 Devastate.